My name is David Hall. I am the assistant principal percussionist with the Grand Rapids Symphony. I've been a member of the symphony for 33 years now. I started on the drums when I was 10 after playing some piano, and I like the rhythm and the physical movement needed to play all the different instruments. Um, so as I said, I'm a member of the percussion section, and part of that word is percuss from the Greek language, and that means to strike. So we strike our instruments with our hands or some sticks or mallet. That creates vibrations, for instance, on this big marimba bar, and those vibrations make beautiful sound and beautiful music. Now on the keyboard percussion instruments, which are what we're gonna talk about today, they come in different sizes. This is a rosewood bar. You strike it, it creates vibrations, and those vibrations go down into these tubes under here called resonators. They make the instrument louder, amplify the sound. So if I cover that tube up, pretty soft, but louder without it. So, or with it, here's with it, without it, here's with it. So that's a little bit about how we make sounds on these instruments. Um, now, let's go back in time to the origins of all these keyboard percussion instruments that are part of the percussion family and the orchestra. The earliest percussion instruments were just a few bars strung together by string. So I have here an uh, African balafon from Gambia, West Africa, and this doesn't have metal tubes underneath. Underneath this has calabash gourds as the resonators. They have a really unique sound. That's the balafon. I use uh, mallets made from the rubber tree, all wound up, so great sound. Then we have the Mexican and Guatemalan marimbas. They have even different resonators underneath made out of cedar wood. And they come down to a point with a hole and a membrane, and that gives it a buzzing sound just like the African instrument. That's the Mexican instrument. Now we move to the modern xylophone uh, made in a factory with metal tubular resonators. Part of that word xylo, X-Y-L-O, means wood and phone or phonic means sound. So xylophone is a wood sounding instrument. Very bright sounding, really cuts through the orchestra. <laughs> the xylophone. Now over to the glockenspiel or the bells made out of steel bars. Very hard. We use plastic mallets to strike these. Very bright sounding. Lots of sustain. That's the bells. Now tubular chimes or uh, tubular bells, hollowed out metal tubes with a striking cap, and we strike these with um, a hammer or a mallet. Um, they can sound like church bells, or in this case, a doorbell. So that's the tubular chimes. Now, back to my favorite instrument, the marimba. Like I showed you before, these are made out of beautiful rosewood, brass resonators, Underneath, um, this instrument has the largest range of all the keyboard percussion instruments. This is five octaves and about nine feet wide. Now we have one more instrument, the vibraphone, which is also made out of metal and it's unique because it has a pedal underneath that is attached to a dampening bar that can muffle the bars, make them longer or shorter. It also has a motor that
that opens and closes the resonators to give them kind of a vibrato effect. That's the vibraphone. So, why don't we practice saying all those names again? We've got the marimba, tubular bells, vibraphone, glockenspiel, xylophone, Mexican marimba, and finally, the original African balafon. So that's the keyboard percussion family. Thanks for your time today. I'll see you later.